Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 10th of May. Great to have you join us on this glorious morning. Uh, we'll see how long the sunshine lasts. Um, but we're going to just follow a very simple morning prayer liturgy. And so please do join in as able. So Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no, no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm is either 65 or 67. 67 is a bit short. Let's do 65 and I'll omit the refrain. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. To you that answer prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house, even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness, the God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. In your strength you set fast the mountains and are girded about with might. You still the raging of the seas, the roaring of their waves and the clamour of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels. The gates of the morning and the evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. And the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep, and the valleys stand so thick with corn that they laugh and sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So our Old Testament is Deuteronomy chapter 26. I'm going to omit that, but please do pause and read Deuteronomy 26. I'm going to skip the canticle and we'll go straight into our New Testament reading, 1 Peter 4, 1 to 11. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention. 
For whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin. So as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. But they have to give an account to him, but sorry, but they will have to give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is a reason the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead. So that, though they had been judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, Maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining, like good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with strength that God supplies so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him being the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. Death is swallowed up in victory, where, O death, is your sting. Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound, and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? You shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory, where a death is your sting. And our gospel canticle. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all those that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenants. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. So I've just got, I think, two prayers uh, from the Allen Chapel, which I'll pray with us, and then just lead us in in the generic prayers. Father, we pray for this daughter, Tracy. Lord, who is fighting bowel cancer. Lord, we hold her before you and the family. Particularly pray, Lord, that you might lead and guide all those who have any say in the treatments of this young woman. Guide them by your Holy Spirit. Grant them wisdom, we pray, in providing the right course of treatments. But Lord, we equally ask, in your great mercy, would you intervene by the power of your Holy Spirit in her life, that she might know you, yes, but that, Lord, she might know the power of your healing also, in the very fibre and every being. Be with her, and with her family, we're clearly anxious at this time. Gracious Lord, 
in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember also, Lord, others who we know who are struggling with any illness. We name them before you now, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, this prayer literally just prays that they miss, uh, I think it's two people, maybe two people, um, and my guess is that they've sadly passed away. And so, Lord, we simply pray for those who grieve and mourn the loss of somebody close to them particularly those who have written this, this prayer as well, from Marie and Martin. Father, would you be close to them? Would you comfort them and console? And gracious Lord, might they know the closeness of you at this time? And Lord, we name before you others who we know are grieving the loss of somebody dear to them, friend or family. And we name them before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, for whatever lies ahead of each one of us this day, either being busy, at work, at rest, meetings, appointments, just the mundaneness of day-to-day -day life, Father, guide us by your Holy Spirit. Give us those opportunities to speak of you. Father, those moments to pause and to reflect upon you, to be aware of your presence and hearing your voice through others, through creation, through coincidence. Lord, help us to be just aware of your work and activity this day and help us to be part of what that means. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our mission partners in Uganda and India. Father, as each of them struggles and wrestles with what this pandemic is doing to their own communities and circumstances and the different challenges and pressures that they face. And we bring them both before you, O oh Lord. For Eunice, Pajai and Callista. Sorry, Alistair and Callista. Gracious Lord, be with them as they seek to serve you faithfully, exactly where you have placed them. Strengthen, sustain and support them this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the continued rollout of the vaccine programme in our nation. O Lord, we thank you for the aid and the support we offer to others. May that continue and grow and increase. And we thank you for our nation and all that you have blessed us with. And may we be a blessing to others. And help us, O oh Lord, reflect this day how we, how, how we might personally be a means of blessing to somebody else. So merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life. So by his continual presence in us, may he raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence 
as our Saviour taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. So please do keep safe. Keep in contact with one another and keep close to God in prayer. The study of his word and the wonder and the enjoyment of his creation. So bless you and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.